Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. And after a dark and stormy night last night, well, we've had some pretty nice conditions today. A little more sunshine this afternoon, and we'll see those clouds gradually thin out as well as some less humid air works in from the north. Just seeing our ground clutter return around the radar site. But some showers have been popping up to the east of us out along Interstate 71, even just south of Interstate 70, but east of Springfield out of our viewing area. And that should all move off to the south and east. You can see those showers there just south of Interstate 70 up through Madison County. Looking down south, more showers develop and even some thunderstorms down through northern Kentucky. But the movement on all this is southeastward. Our upper winds turning to the northwest, and that's allowing for some of that slightly cooler, slightly less humid air to build into the region tomorrow, only expecting to see afternoon highs up into the mid-80s. And tonight, partly cloudy skies for that evening commute, 87 degrees, but check it out. A northwest wind at 14. Our relative humidity has dropped off to 45%, with dew points coming back into the low 60s, as opposed to around 70 where they were last night and early this morning. So so uh, much better air mass settling into the region. 87 degrees at our instant neighborhood weather site up in Springfield with a wind out of the northwest and west there at about 10 to 15 and 7 hundredths of an inch of rain since midnight. Had a high today of 88, 67 this morning. Record high 98, 1954, 49 the record low, 1902. Our weather checkers tonight, Don Chateau in Sydney at 90 degrees. John Kingham reporting a 90 degree reading. And then down south, mostly mid and upper 80s here where we've seen a little more cloud cover holding temperatures back. Hope Colkey and Bellbrook at 85 degrees up in the Yellow Springs area. 86 reported there by Jack Liebold. And then uh, over in the Eaton area, uh, Jonathan Marker there at 87 degrees. So readings tonight, not quite as warm as you go up towards Cleveland. 80 degrees, 80 at Mansfield. But there's that hot air mass, 91 Lafayette, 90 Indianapolis, and 96 at Evansville, Indiana. So very hot, sticky. You can really see that hot air from Wichita, St. Louis, down to Memphis, over to Oklahoma City, Atlanta in the hot stuff too, but up to the northeast of us, slightly cooler, slightly less humid air across the Great Lakes. And with our flow turning a little more northwesterly, you can really see that with a satellite picture here. That's going to allow some intrusion of some of that less humid, occasionally cooler air as well. Our front to the south of us tonight, we do have a little bit of active weather to the west, and that's what we'll be keeping an eye on as we head uh, towards Saturday night, especially late Saturday night and into Sunday morning, because we will see another front move in from that direction. But tonight, high pressure is going to control our weather, uh, keeping us mostly sunny as we go into tomorrow. Mostly clear skies tonight. Nice day coming up tomorrow. Mild air over the northern part of the state. Warm, less humid down our way. But as we roll on into Saturday night, watch our cold front coming in from the west. Saturday night and Sunday morning will bring us that chance of some rain. And this will be another reinforcing shot of that cooler air and much cooler air coming across the Great Lakes. Should take us back to some pleasant readings early next week. So our forecast tonight, we can expect those skies to clear on out. Overnight low, right around 64. Four. And then tomorrow, look for a nice day. A lot of sunshine to start the day. A few scattered clouds in the afternoon as we get up to about 85 degrees with a northeast wind at 5 to 15. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, 67 at 8 o'clock, 75 at 10. We'll be closing in on 80 at noon. Up into the mid-80s in the afternoon, but not as humid as today. And then 84 degrees at 6 o'clock. And you can check out the graphics. We always have updated graphics for you on the website. You can access those tonight and right on through the weekend. Even some graphics we don't normally show show on the air. All that information for you there at our website, WBTN.com. Sunday looks like a good chance of rain in the morning, and then we'll actually see those temperatures drop off early next week. Highs only in the low to mid-70s on Tuesday.